We do have a behavior service, and we do consult with them regularly on, on various aspects of it. Um, I, I'm, I'm a trainer as well, and I've, done, I've studied a lot of stuff, but I'm certainly not a behaviorist when we've had issues, um, particularly with our shepherds. It's kind of a, a very stimulating environment. They, they've provided some guidance. Um, we also have a lot of trainers that volunteer their time and, and help with that. But we, yeah, we do regularly have the behavior service. They're actually the only rotation that's come over on a regular basis with their students to, to, to play with us. Did you have a question too? No. Okay. Um, so just about the, 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 we rely hugely not only on our foster families but on our volunteers. Right now we only have three full-time employees in the center. Um, we work with veterans. Um, so this is Ashley. Uh, she has traumatic brain injury and PTSD, and her dog Jazz is a, a PTSD support dog. Um, and she's she's one of our interns that works with us. Um, and it's it's been a really you know good opportunity for her um, because life is hard when when you've got all of these issues, and the, the dogs are a good safe place to be. Um, and and hopefully it's going to help her kind of pursue her dream of, of becoming a vet tech. We're also working with a couple of prison programs. Um, these are programs where the, the prisoners are either raising the, the dogs to be PTSD support dogs, like Ashley's dog came from one of those programs, or in Philadelphia we have one where they take shelter dogs and teach them a canine good citizen um, sh sort of skills so they can be adopted. Those people, when they are paroled, um, we have an internship program so that they can come to us and keep building on some of those dog skills and hopefully get back into the community and, and have real jobs uh, there's also a program for youth at risk, homeless kids between 18 and 21, um, that was set up with the shelter, um, and now we're trying to figure out ways that we can fund internship programs for these kids so they can also have some career skills that can help them get out of the cycle of homelessness. So the bottom line is what we are, is, and besides having a lot of fun, we're, we're really about the science and getting the information, getting the knowledge, the data, so that we can, you know, validate it, reproduce it, and share it. Um, and it's, it's just a really fun area. We, there's every, every day it seems like there's a new question that, that pops up that we could ask, and, and there's just not enough you know, time to, to get all of the information. But, but we're just starting. I mean, we've only been up for you know, almost, almost seven months, which is amazing uh, the progress that we've, we've made in the short time that we've been here. The other thing that might surprise you is that we, we actually are not funded by the veterinary school. We're not funded by Penn. We're not funded by the government. It's all private donations. Um, so we've, we've raised all this money privately. Um, and it's been really great that people have stepped up and, and given us a lot of money, some foundations, some individuals. Uh, so we're, <laughs> we're kind of going month to month to make sure we can keep doing this. Um, but we've got a lot of progress. Things are, are really going in the direction that we had hoped they would. So we hope to move forward. We do have some research grants now by the government. Um, and that's going to help support the program, but it's not for the program. Um, definitely, if you haven't found us um, on Facebook, we have a very active um, site, lots of videos, lots of pictures of the dogs. It's actually a picture of one of your statues out front um, that I posted yesterday. <laughs> um, and hopefully there's a picture from this morning already that's been posted. I don't know if someone got that up um, already, but I sent it to them. Uh, so. Uh, we definitely try and get information out, not just about our program, but about things that are of interest to working dogs, um, to the different programs, to their health, to their well-being.